In this video, I want to answer the question, what is a work package? A work package is a chunk of work. It's a subset of your work breakdown structure. However, in the US and in the UK, we take a slightly different approach to work breakdown structures and therefore a slightly different understanding of what a work package is, although the difference is barely material. In the US, a work breakdown structure breaks down the product that you're producing into its component parts. And for each component part, there are tasks that we need to do to complete that part, and those are our work packages. In the UK, however, our work breakdown structure breaks down the tasks we need to carry out to produce the product or deliverable set. And so our work breakdown structure in the UK breaks down the work. And therefore, a work package is any subset of our work breakdown structure that sits below the top line. The top line defines the work streams. Project managers will therefore assign work packages to team members who would therefore be referred to as a work package manager. And sometimes this is done informally just by asking a colleague to handle a certain subset of the work breakdown structure. But sometimes we need to do this formally and hand it over with a formal work package description. And we tend to do this when the work is of sufficiently high criticality, high sensitivity, high profile, or frankly, when there is a lower level of trust and we need to increase the level of confidence in the performance of our work package manager. And of course, in a contractual situation, work packages become absolutely necessary. On one project I worked, each of the work packages would have price sensitive implications if it weren't completed properly. That is to say, share price could be affected by the poor completion of the work packages. So we therefore issued formal work package descriptions. Those work package descriptions set out what you as project manager expect of your team member, of your work package manager. It sets out the required work and the standards. It sets out the time scales and the resources that are available. It might give some measure of background as well. It'll also give the authority to the work package manager to complete the task according to whatever guidelines you set out. When you've handed over the work package description to the work package manager, you will expect them to sign it, to accept it, and you as project manager will countersign it to hand it over. And at that point, you've allocated the work package to the work package manager, and you will then store the paperwork securely. One way of thinking of a work package description, therefore, is as a mini project brief or mini project definition or project initiation document for the work package. So to summarize, a work package is a chunk of work within your project. It is a subset of the work breakdown structure if you're in the UK, or it is the work required to produce a specific component of the product or deliverable set if you're in the US. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Please subscribe for more and hit the notification bell to find out about them as they come out. And please do visit the online PM courses website, where you'll find plenty more free and paid resources for project managers.